This video is a short introduction to how to get quickly up and running with CatNet. I will be skipping over much of the detail of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to show uh, how simple it is. There are other videos that will go into more detail on the site. And uh, first thing we want to do is add a new driver. And let's select BACnet IP. And we'll call it BACnet Network. And we now have a BACnet Network driver in the tree. And the first thing after that is we want to add uh, new devices. And we will tell it, instead of entering the information, we want it to go scan the network for the devices. And it found a Delta Controls thermostat, so we will add that. And now there is our thermostat. And we want to scan for points, but I want to store all the points in a folder. So I'll add a folder called Points. And then I will tell it to go scan for points on that device. And this will take a few moments. Uh, point scanning uh, also works on LonWorks devices. Uh, unfortunately, Modbus protocol does not support point or device discovery. Uh, but it, it's really not uh, that difficult to add the points that you need f on a Modbus device. And then uh, with the templating system of CatNet, you can save the entire thermostat with all the points and everything already set up. So you only have to do it once for each different type of device you have. And I'll show you a quick demonstration of that towards the end of this. It should be just about done here. Okay, for simplicity, I'm just going to grab all the points and add them to the folder. So we should have all the points in the folder now. And we can just click it and get the temperature or the water temperature. Now a couple of quick changes we want to make. Uh, I'll select uh, night set point here. And we want this point to be modifiable by users, so I have to click that. And uh, it just sorted the, sorted the tree for me. And I also want occupied to be modifiable by the user. So there we have our points in the tree and we can read the points. And uh, next thing we want to do is set up a new trend, which we'll just call trend. And there's no data to view right now, so let's add a couple of points to the trend so we can be collecting some data while we're looking at their other features. We'll add occupied night set point, and let's add temperature and tell it to collect data every one minute. So we'll let that go off and be collecting data for us. Now we want to add a schedule, which we'll call schedule. And this is our schedule grid, and here's the points we want to control from the schedule. And we will just control occupied and when the schedule is active, we want the occupied flag to be on. And when inactive, we want the occupied, occupied flag to be off. And then let's throw night set point in there. And when the schedule is active, it will be during the day. So when the schedule is active, we want the set point to be 72. And at night, we want it to be 80. And let's go and set some hours. We'll say Monday is 8 o'clock. Through 8.30. And then Saturday is 9 o'clock through 6.15. And then apply that. And you'll see that the schedule is currently active. And then on the exception tab, you can put holidays, holiday periods, Christmas, uh, things like that. 
Okay, let's go add one new point here. We want to add a calculation. We'll just call it deviation. A calculation allows you to create uh, pseudo points, if you will, to give you a way to make points that don't actually exist on the device. And with this calculation, I want to find out what the difference between the set point and temperature is. So I will put a calculation in of value 1 minus value 2. Apply that. And the deviation is 5.47. Now you can look at this by clicking on it in the tree and you'll see the 5.7. Now let's go and make a quick graphic. And it's an empty graphic at this point so we will edit and then drop a few points on here. Let's just uh, put temperature on there. And there's a variety of different controls you can use here, but for this I just want straight text. Night set point. Let's put night set point in a spinner so we can change it. That's a little bigger than we need it to be. And let's go ahead and drop occupied. And we'll put it on there as a checkbox. And just to show we can, we'll put deviation on there also. Save it. Go back to view mode. And the text is a little small, but you can see that it's there. And everything is updating. Let's go back and add a button for trend and add another button for the schedule and we should be able to click the button to get the schedule or click the button to, to view the trend data and we've got a few readings here okay now uh, once this is completely tested and we know that it's the way we want it we right click, select save as template, and I've got a bunch of uh, test ones in there, but we'll save it as a DSC T305. Now when we want to add another one, we select new device, template, select the DSC T305, and we'll call it number two. and now we've just duplicated the entire system the entire device I should say and all you have to do is go in into the properties and change this device ID so that it looks at a different, ther a different uh, thermostat or device so that is a quick overview uh, there are many more videos in the video section that go into a lot more detail but this is uh, how quick and easy it is to get up and running